Emotions, they come and go like waves in the ocean. They are natural, arising from our thoughts and perceptions. Imagine a beautiful sunset, the fiery hues of red and orange painting the sky. Your heart swells with awe and admiration. But as the sun sinks lower, the vibrant colors fade, and so does your awe. This is the nature of emotions. They are temporary, often fleeting, and can be as misleading as a mirage in the desert. Recognizing this can be a powerful tool in your emotional toolkit. It helps you understand that your immediate feelings may not always reflect the true nature of your situation. Just like the changing colors of a sunset, emotions are transient. They don't define you or your reality. As you learn to recognize this, you'll find yourself responding wisely instead of reacting impulsively. When emotions surge, it's easy to get swept away, but remember to pause and reflect before reacting. This pause, this moment of reflection, is a powerful tool in mastering emotional control. Consider the situation when someone says something that triggers anger within you. A common reaction might be to retaliate, to react impulsively. But what if instead you took a deep breath and counted to ten? This simple act of counting gives you a moment to cool down, to see the situation from a clearer perspective. You start to see beyond the immediate emotional response. You see the potential consequences of your reaction. You realize that your response could either escalate the situation or bring it to a more peaceful resolution. This brief pause, this moment of reflection, is not about suppressing your emotions. It's about understanding them, acknowledging them, and then choosing a response that aligns with your values and goals. Reflecting before reacting allows you to see the situation more clearly and respond with control. In the midst of chaos, find your peace in silence. Silence is a potent tool, a refuge, where you can retreat to gather your thoughts and gain clarity. It's a sanctuary away from the clamor of the world, a place where your mind can rest and refresh. You see, silence isn't merely the absence of noise, it's a powerful entity in itself. A canvas where you can sketch your thoughts, free from external influences. When emotions threaten to tip the balance, silence offers an oasis of calm. It acts as a buffer, preventing impulsive reactions and guiding you towards thoughtful responses. It's like a pause button, providing you with the opportunity to step back, reflect and then proceed with wisdom. But silence isn't just about introspection, it also enhances your listening skills, helping you understand the situation better. It encourages empathy, allowing you to see things from multiple perspectives. Silence, when embraced, can be your greatest ally in understanding the situation better. Detach yourself from your emotions, observe them, but don't let them control you. The power of dispassion lies within this simple yet profound concept. Imagine yourself as an observer, standing outside the whirlwind of emotions that swirl within you. This outsider's perspective allows you to see your emotions for what they truly are, transient and ever-changing. They come and they go like clouds passing across the sky. By viewing your emotions from this detached standpoint, you can maintain a balanced outlook. You realize that emotions are not you, nor are they your reality. They are merely temporary states of mind that can change as quickly as they arise. This understanding helps you to remain calm and composed, even when faced with the most stressful of situations. Practicing dispassion doesn't mean suppressing your feelings or pretending they don't exist. It's about acknowledging them, observing them, but not allowing them to dictate your actions. Remember, dispassion is about acknowledging your feelings without letting them dictate your actions. In a world buzzing with stimuli, it's important to filter out the noise. We are often bombarded with information, much of which can be negative or stressful. It's like a constant stream of emotional triggers flowing our way. It's crucial then to limit your exposure to these negative influences. Consider the media you consume. Is it elevating your mood or bringing you down? Be mindful of what you allow into your mental space. The same goes for the people you interact with. Surround yourself with those who uplift you, those who radiate positivity, and those who support your journey towards emotional mastery. But it's not just about the external environment. Internally, too, we must strive to create peaceful spaces. Practice mindfulness to manage negative thoughts and engage in activities that foster emotional resilience and positivity. Remember, the goal isn't to avoid all negativity. That's impossible. But you can certainly make conscious choices to limit its impact. Create a peaceful environment for yourself physically and mentally. Develop a habit, a habit of responding calmly and composedly. 
This is a cornerstone of emotional mastery. It's not about suppressing emotions, it's about managing them in a balanced way. One effective technique is deep breathing. When emotions surge, taking deep, slow breaths can help bring your heart rate down and your mind back to a state of calm. Another technique is active listening. When you listen actively, you're not just waiting for your turn to speak, you're fully engaged, understanding the other person's viewpoint. This helps in reducing conflicts and misunderstandings, allowing you to respond in a calm and thoughtful manner. Visualization is another powerful tool. Imagine a calm and peaceful scene like a serene beach or a tranquil forest. This mental image can act as an anchor, helping you maintain your composure in challenging situations. Remember, change doesn't happen overnight. It's a process. With practice, you can improve your responses over time. In every situation, find something to be grateful for. This is the heart of cultivating an attitude of gratitude, a powerful tool in maintaining emotional balance. Gratitude has a wonderful way of shifting our focus from what's wrong to what's right. It brings into view the countless blessings we often overlook, the everyday miracles we take for granted. One effective way to practice gratitude is by keeping a daily journal. Jot down three things you're thankful for each day. They could be as simple as a warm cup of coffee, a kind word from a friend, or the beauty of the sunset. This habit can help enhance your mood, reduce stress, and foster a more positive mindset. Additionally, expressing thanks to the people around you not only uplifts them, but also strengthens your own sense of appreciation. Incorporate gratitude into your mindfulness practices and watch how it transforms your perspective. Gratitude builds resilience, making it easier to navigate life's challenges with grace and composure.